inside position. We'll go live to downtown Los Angeles. 56 degrees here in Hollywood. Skies are clearing this morning. In 1921, our mother founders, Mother Maria Luisa Josefa of the Most Blessed Sacrament, felt the call to begin a religious community right in the midst of religious persecution in Mexico. And at that time, her fledgling community was in hiding. Mother Luisita, which we call her, she had this incredible desire to serve. There were over 50 sisters. So in 1927, she brought three sisters to the United States. Three sisters now to 120. We have sisters ages 25 to 95. So we have this incredible generations of sisters who are living this way of life. So those 120, are throughout Southern California, Miami, and Denver. So those are the places where we serve. Our apostolates of education, of our retreat work and our healthcare are ways that we come together to be able to serve the people with our mission. So the Carmelite Sisters of the Most Sacred Heart of Los Angeles have this incredible gift. And so our life of prayer is incredibly important to us. Psalm 8 says that praise foils the enemy. Praise is one of those things that allows you to go beyond the circumstances of life that can drag you down. So from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, there's moments in the day for us that we are singing. So the repertoire for this project is really diverse and very much how we Carmelites sing. We have orchestral pieces, we have chant, choral, we have some a cappella sounds also, and some mystical sounds. So it's a wide range and we've been having a lot of fun with it. This recording process has been a beautiful whirlwind. It's been such a joy to see the sisters so engaged and their joy and their love of their sisters and the song coming out together in this beautiful family sound. For 30 years, I've been a trained engineer and producer. And what I love to do is to go where there are beautiful sounds already and try to capture that, sort of put it in a bottle as it were. and. Uh, be able to bring this to the world. This was an amazing acoustic and the sisters blend so well with it. To work with Brad has been such a joy. He put me at ease and it was just so easy to do all the different takes that we needed to do. The cohesiveness of the sisters singing. There's a real unity of spirit here that I think comes across in the music in a way that, you know, doesn't always with musicians. Our setup here is for normal stereo, but we also set up so that we could do a Apple Spatial Audio and Dolby Atmos mix. This recording project, we have a hope behind it that it reaches into the hearts of people who have no way of coming to visit us here in our Carmelite community, which we would love to have them if they could come. But through this musical recording, they can, as it were, step inside of our chapel, inside of our prayer life and our life of song. And so music to us is our way of saying we love you, we know life is so much bigger than our own little world, and we want to unite our voice with that of eternity.